Hey guys and what is up Inspire here and I hope you're all having a fantastic day today. In this video I'm going to show you how to install HyperOS on a USB stick and how to set up a worker. Um, some of you guys in the comments in the past have just been asking me um, how to install HyperOS as um, HyperOS have change their method um, in installing um, the actual program or the actual software onto a USB or SSD. So without further ado guys, let's jump into HiveOS and let's create a worker and how and install the actual software on the USB. Okay, so now we're in HiveOS. Um, as you can see, this is my test farm and I don't have any workers um, set up yet. So um, all we need to do in this case is um, add a rig. Um, in this rig, the rig that we'll be adding is a GPU mining rig. Um, so all we need to do is click here, add rig. Once we click add rig, um, a pop-up will come up and all we need to do now is click install new. And then another box comes up um, that made it a lot easier now and a lot friendly um, to actually install the um, actual Hyvon um, software onto your USB. So once this screen pops up, all we need to do is click this little button here where it says download Hyvon installer. Um, so we download that and we'll run that, okay? So let's do that. Okay, so once you've downloaded that um, file and then you open and you ran that file, this is the next screen that you get. Um, this is the actual um, little program or little software that they've um, implemented into their system so <clears throat> to make it a bit easier to install Hive um, OS onto your USB or SSD. So as you can see here, all we need to do is um, open up which Hive OS, um, what version of Hive OS you guys want to install. So I'm just going to pick the first one as it's, it, it is a stable one and it is the latest version. Um, and then you can see here it's going to install the NVIDIA drivers and the actual um, AMD drivers as well, okay? And the actual um, kernel for the Hive OS. So next, all you have to do is click continue. And then once you click continue, um, it will tell you to enter your farm hash. Um, this will pre-populate if you, if, you, if you try to add a worker from your actual farm. Um, so you, or you, or, um, you don't need to do anything here other than just click continue. Once you get to this section here, then you need to select your target drive, the place where you want to install Hive OS. Okay, so at the moment, let's I've got a USB plugged in. Um, if you if the USB is not here, then just try drop down, click the drop down button, and see um, which drives you want to install it on. So it may be your USB drive, or it may be a SSD drive, or a hard disk drive. Um, just select the one that you want. Um, and then we could click flash image. So I'm just going to click on this USB and then I'm going to click flash image. So now it's in the progress of downloading the actual image um, from Hive OS's um, website and then it will install it onto your drive, okay? So I'm just gonna let this download and then we'll quickly come back um, once it's downloaded and um, see if it's going to flash onto the drive automatically, okay? Okay, as you can see, the download just finished. Now the actual image is going to extract itself onto your C drive. Um, so just let that do that um, once it's extracted and then let's see what it, what it happens next, okay?
Okay, as you see, as the extraction is done and it's been extracted to your C drive, now the actual software is writing the image onto your um, SSD or onto your USB stick, okay? So all we have to do now is just wait for this to finish and wait for it to be all completed and then we should be able to remove the USB and plug it into our mining rig. Okay, so the installation on the SSD is now completed. As you can see, it says it is success and your, your USB is ready. Now plug it in. So all we need to do now is just close this software off and then plug the USB into our mining rig and boot it up um, and see if it comes on to Hive OS, okay? Um, I'm gonna quickly plug it into our mining rig and then turn it on and then I'm gonna jump into Hive OS and show you once it's all booted up, okay? Let's go. Okay guys, now we're back in Hive OS. Um, as you can see, the workers is not up yet, but I've booted it up on our mining rig and on our test rig. Um, all we need to do now is press F5 and let's hope that um, the miner will show up, okay? So I'm gonna quickly press F5 now. Okay, as you can see, the rig came online um, you can see that um, it's not named yet or it's missing a fly sheet and whatnot um, to change the name for your miner all you have to do is go into the mining rig um, once you're in the mining rig all you need to do is click on settings and within the settings here you can change the the miner okay the name of the miner I'm just, I'm just gonna call it inspire test Okay, and all you have to do now is just click update worker. Once you click the update worker, um, you can head back out to your main page and the name should be changed. Okay, and you can see up here, there we go, inspires test. Um, you can see that the name has changed. Well guys, there you have it. You guys know how to install Hive OS on a USB or SSD now. Um, this is the new way and it's the updated way that Hive OS have done. So thank you guys so much. Um, if you guys like the video, don't forget to give this video a thumbs up. And if you guys haven't subscribed yet, click the subscribe button and also click the bell notification to know when I drop the next video. Thank you guys and I'll see you guys in the next one.